Energy Bagua Aerobics. Let's start to practice Energy Bagua Aerobics. Let's do warm up exercises first. Feet shoulder width apart. Prepare for side stretch. Stretch your left hand up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch. Two, two, three, four. Prepare for chest expansion. To the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four. Prepare for high knees. Right leg first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Kick back. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put your right leg back for lunges. Try to keep your hind leg straight. Five, six, seven, eight. Bring your hind legs half step forward. Sit back and raise your toes. Five, six, seven, eight. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring your hind legs half step forward. Sit back and raise your toes. Prepare to rotate wrists and ankles. Rotate your left first. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch. Two, two, three, four, five. Prepare to do Settle Chi three times. First time. Settle Chi to your lower abdomen. Second time. Legs slightly bent. Third time. Five, six, seven, eight. Get ready for the first set of movements. Punch and kick. Bring back your right leg and punch with right hand. One, two, three, four. Use force from your back when punching. The back drives the arms to exert force. Five, six, prepare to switch. Switch, left punch, right punch, kick. Exert force from your back. Seven, eight, harder, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Prepare for archery exercise. Five, six, seven, eight. Bring back your right leg. Three, turn left. Five, six, back, eight. Pull back with force. Three, turn right. Five, six, back, eight. Use force from both arms. Three, turn. Five, six, seven, eight. Four, two, three, turn. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, two, three, turn left. Five, six, seven, eight. Six, two, three, turn right. Five, six, seven, eight. Seven, two, three, turn. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight, two, three, turn. Five, six, Seven, eight. Prepare for knee strikes. Right knee first. One, two, three, four. Hands and knee exert force simultaneously. Pull with force. Three, four, five. Prepare to switch sides. Switch. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Use your core to exert force. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Prepare for Move the Mountain. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. To the right. Ho! Six, seven, eight. Push your palms. Three, right leg forward. Ha! Six, seven, eight. Use your core power to push out. Three, to the left. Ho! Six, seven, eight. Push your palms. Three, left leg forward. Ha! Six, seven, eight. Use Hung Ha to exert Chi. Three, to the right. Ho! Six, seven, eight. Open up your entire body. Three, right leg forward. Ha! Six, seven, eight. Keep upper body straight when pushing out. To the left. Ho! Six, seven, eight. Use force from core to push palms. Three, left leg forward. Ha! Six, seven, eight. Get ready for the second set of movements. Great job! Do punch and kick. Bring back your right leg and punch with right hand. One, two, three, four. Use force from your back when punching. Harder. Two, two, three, four, five, six. Prepare to switch. Switch. Left punch. Right punch. Kick. Exert force from your back. Seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Prepare to do archery exercise. Five, six, seven, eight. Right leg step back. Three, turn left. Five, six, back, eight. Pull back with force. Three, turn right. Five, six, back, eight. Use force from both arms. Three, turn. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Keep your core stable. Three. Turn. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Open up your chest and meridians. Three. Turn. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Harder. Three. Turn. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Seven. Two. Three. Turn. Five. Six, seven, eight. Eight, two, three. Turn. Five, six, seven, eight. You're awesome. Prepare for knee strike. Right knee first. One, two, three, four. Hands and knee exert force simultaneously. Use your core to exert force. Three, Four, five, six, prepare to switch. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go prepare again. for move the mountain. Five, six, seven, eight. One. Two, three, to the right. Ho! Six, seven, eight. Push your palms. Three, right leg forward. Ha! Six, seven, eight. Use your core power to push out. Three, to the left. Ho! Six, seven, eight. Push your palms. Three, left leg forward. Ha! Six, seven, eight. Eight. Use Hung Ha to exert Chi. Three. To the right. Ho! Six. Seven. Eight. Open up your entire body. Three. Right leg forward. Ha! Six. Seven. Eight. Keep upper body straight when pushing out. To the left. Ho! Six. Seven. Eight. Use your core power to push out. Three. Left leg forward. Ha! Six, seven, eight. Well done, everyone. Great job! Get ready for relaxation.
Take three deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Once more. Exhale. Move arms back in circular motions. Right hand first. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Move to the front. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Arm stretch. Stretch the right shoulder. Five, six, seven, eight. Switch. Three, four, five, six. Put right hand on left shoulder and look back. Relax lower back. Five, six, seven, eight. Switch. Try to look back. Five, six. Put your right leg back for lunges. Try to keep your hind leg straight. Five, six, seven, eight. Switch. Two, three, four. Prepare to shake your hands and feet. One, two, three, four, five, six. Take three deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. Last time, inhale. Exhale. Today's Energy Bagua Aerobics has been completed. I wish you all health and happiness. Till next time. Master Jin Bodhi's Golden Words. The best time to plan the year is spring. The best time to plan the day is dawn. If we recite Master Jin Bodhi's Golden Words every morning, we'll be full of energy, confidence, creativity, vitality, and infinite charisma for the entire day. Everything will be transformed. Please recite them aloud. I am most compassionate. I am most confident. I am most tolerant. I am most courageous. I am most trustworthy. I am most punctual. I can do anything. I am full of wisdom. I am most knowledgeable. I love to read. I love to observe. I love to listen. I love to think. I take decisive action. I am a gem of the universe. I am most charming. I am most talented. I sing most beautifully. I like challenges. I am most accountable. I will fulfill my life purpose. In heaven and on earth, I am supreme. In heaven and on earth, I am supreme. In heaven and on earth, I am supreme. Please sit down slowly. Relax your body and mind. 
Remain calm and relaxed. Listen carefully. Chanting and awakening to emptiness. Hello, everyone. Hello, Master. About our chanting, I have some reminders. You told me you couldn't focus on chanting. Your minds wandered off while you were chanting. After listening to my teachings, I hope you'll be able to calm your mind and focus. The calmer you are, the easier it is to solve problems. Wise teachers from the past, such as Mozu, Changzu, and Sakyamuni, all said similar things. Calm yourself down in times of chaos. Compose yourself when the world is in disorder. Only the calm ones can survive in times of chaos. Not only survive, but also rise through the chaos. I was a timid boy. I was scared that I would die. I was scared of being alone at home or walking at night. I was scared of being eaten by a ghost. Then... My master told me that everyone has their own fate. There are as many people as there are stars in the sky. Back then, we didn't have many lights at night. So the stars looked very bright. Even the Milky Way looked exactly like it does in photos. I felt I was one of the stars. If you're fated to live till 80, you won't die young. It's your destiny. You won't die before accomplishing what you're fated to do. Think this way. Human bodies are composed of millions of microorganisms. Think of yourself as formed by microscopic flower particles. With the arising of many different conditions, you were formed. But as the Buddha said, this is an illusion. In the Sutra of Perfect Enlightenment, Buddha mentioned that people have often mistakenly thought that the body is composed of four elements. Earth, water, fire, and wind. Is the body that is composed of the four elements the real you? No, you have it mixed up. Different causes and conditions brought you to life. Your physical body is borrowed. It's not the real you. An illness resides in the physical body. The body is not the real you. Severe illnesses are due to the arising of conditions. Fatal ones even more so. It could be a car accident or a surgery failure, etc. When you're in a comatose state, your soul leaves your body. Then you'll realize your spirit actually floats in the air. When you look at your body, you feel like it doesn't belong to you. It is not related to you at all. That's how you will feel. I felt like that when I was little. My body was borrowed. My body was just like a photo or a leather sack. It was an illusion formed by different conditions and causes. It's not real. When looking at our physical body, think of my master's teachings. One of the stars in the Milky Way represents you. I expanded my imagination later. All stars in the Milky Way represent my entire body, but all these stars are borrowed. It's similar to drawing myself using beach sand. The drawing is an outline of me, but none of the sand particles are me. The drawing is due to the arising of conditions. 
So if you want to enter the chanting state of all four elements are void, let go of the four elements, earth, water, fire, and wind. Let go of your body before thinking anything. Let the four elements become void. All four elements are emptiness. Originally, they don't belong to me. Why do you consider them yours? That reminds me of people saying they have lower back pain or painful fingers. Then the pain is gone after a while. The body doesn't belong to you. The pain is only an illusion. While I'm speaking, your pain is disappearing. You may close your eyes and try to locate the pain. You can't, because it's gone. That's what it's like. For serious situations, to diagnose cancer or a tumor, the doctor would use a laser scan to find the diseased area. It's the same. After you've truly emptied your mind, two days later, the tumor might even disappear. It may seem strange. Some had lumps or warts on their skin. All disappeared after they chanted with this method. Where did they go? It could be anywhere, in the sky or sand. It's just energy or chi. All humans are made up of two forms of chi. One is from their mother and the other, their father. So when the two forms of chi combined, you existed as an embryo. This chi will absorb nutrients through your mother's body to form you. You can imagine yourself being a fish in the ocean. Imagine in the ocean there are countless schools of fish. Countless fish in the ocean and you're one of them. Or imagine your body is the school of fish. Very beautiful. With today's advanced medical technology, if one or two fish are sick, replacing them makes you healthy again. The body is like that, made up of cells which are like these little fish. Imagine a person gets into the ocean and doesn't drown. That's what I think when I look at pictures of the ocean. I visualize myself as one of the fish or as the whole ocean. All fish are merely my cells. That's the state of all life forms. Sounds exaggerated? Not at all. It depends on your perspective of the world. Like how I see the ocean. On the other hand, the microorganisms in our stomach see us as an ocean. That's how they see me. That's also how they see you. After you drink a cup of water, these germs will say, Tsunami! When you sneeze, the germs inside your nose will be sprayed out, leaving your body and floating in the air. Some germs want to hold on to something while others fall to the ground or into another person's eyes. Someone once said, The world is actually fused together. We rely on each other to survive. That's how the human body is structured. That's how life is structured. Life is strong yet fragile. Even the powerful, such as the first Qin Emperor, he disappeared from this earth along with his descendants. They've turned into dust and smoke now. Can't even find a trace of his DNA. So powerful, yet so fragile. Like the germs on our hands. When we wash our hands, they go down the drain, never to be seen again. They'll get another chance to be reborn. So, 
No matter how great a man was, upon his death he realizes he was only a passerby. Thus there's no point in being so obsessed. No matter how rich or beautiful you are, you'll die. Everyone goes through similar states, whether you fear it or not. Since death is inevitable, fear doesn't change anything. We can chant to be reborn in a better environment. We sure hope not to be reborn in the gutters, but in brightly illuminated, peaceful, beautiful places, places where the air is fresh and sweet. No bullies, no beatings, no scoldings. How wonderful the place is. I hope your visualization can keep up with my words. Visualize you've arrived at the Eastern Pure Land. Everything is transparent there. You become transparent too upon arriving there. You no longer feel hunger, anger, or pain. You don't need friends, don't feel like getting married, and don't want to die. Lastly, you even stop thinking. You feel more at ease than a feather floating in the air. Then you stay there for hundreds of billions of years. You have no thoughts or feelings, hence you become transparent. Any arising thought takes away your transparency. Like a super-sensitive vacuum tube, any signal will generate color. Then you won't belong to the pure land. The pure land can turn all greedy beings transparent. It's like a bleaching machine that cleanses everything inside. Once you're in there, it makes you transparent. This is the main difference between the mortal realm and the eastern pure land. The mortal realm is filled with greed. Because people always have wants. Why do we have to live frugally? Because we lack resources. We have to conserve what we have. Like being sick but having no money to see a doctor. Poverty happens all over the world. Some people are so poor that they can't afford to treat their colds and fevers. Without medical treatment, some die from the flu. Some suffer encephalitis and they become disabled. Also, death caused by gastroenteritis is quite common in Asia and Africa. People are too poor to seek medical treatment. In the Eastern Pure Land, just think of what you want to eat, and then you'll be satiated. If you want to eat drumsticks, you'll see them floating in front of you. Want to eat yams? You get them more than enough. Stir-fried, deep-fried, barbecued, whatever you want. Yams prepared different ways. Balls, mashed, chunks, and candied. Whatever food, you name it, you'll get it. You don't need to worry about overeating. Think and you'll get tons of food. Then you'll be tired of eating and won't feel hungry anymore. You get whatever you want. You're no longer hungry. No need to eat. Everything is free. You can get everything effortlessly. You'll lose interest and quieten down. No point in thinking. You'll lose your appetite and throw up. Finally, you'll stop thinking. Nothing is lacking in the Pure Land. What about the Western Pure Land? Everyone loves money, right? You can find gold everywhere. You can just pick up a piece of gold and bring it home. Houses are built using gold. Gold is so common that it doesn't interest you anymore. The poor will love the Western Pure Land. Understand? You seem confused. It's okay, listen a few more times and you'll get it. All humans are composed of the four great elements. Earth, water, fire and wind, with the arising of the right conditions. Humans are all passers-by. They take nothing when they leave. The pure land is purity.
You may visualize yourself becoming transparent upon arriving there, like a clear glass. Without greed or fear of death. Tell yourself that everyone dies, and then you'll be at ease. In meditation, there's a term, light tranquil state. What's the meaning of light tranquil state? In that state, you speak gently, since there's no conflict or quarrel with others. You are at ease, and as light as a floating feather. That's called light tranquil state. You feel lightness and ease, not lightness and fickleness. Nothing shall agitate you. This is almost the highest state a meditation practitioner pursues. Who can reach such a state? Not many. Many of us are still troubled by our rent, our children's school fees, and our parents' medical bills. Some are worried about their son who still has no girlfriend. It's not easy to be in light tranquility with such worries and stress. As people age, they hunch over more. Their head doesn't seem to be on their neck. It's in their chest. They bend their back like this. They carry mountains of worries. Being a parent is really stressful. Even single people hunch due to the stress of life. You have worries when you desire something. Therefore, I'll guide you to live at ease while having desires. Finally, you will return to nature. You can get what you desire easily. and let go of what you don't want. For professionals, this is a great skill, right? We'll learn this skill. Learn to be adaptable. Whenever you're in a new environment, find an easeful place where you're able to make a living. I guess this is the first time I've talked about being adaptable. This is what I've learned from experience, and I've been using it till now. The key is to understand that everything happens for a reason, with the arising of different conditions. Remember the sand painting analogy I referred to earlier? Understand that with the arising of conditions, we've got our human body. This is irreversible. So you need to understand this process of the arising and disappearing of conditions. Thus, fear doesn't change anything. Be brave enough to think and do what you should. The world is like the sea, at times calm, other times stormy. We need to adapt to it and live well. If we can find a way to help others, that's a higher realm of living. The opportunity will come. Be wise to identify it. Some believed that only bodhisattvas have wisdom. Not really. If you are observant and self-aware, you can be wise. Sakyamuni Buddha mentioned this in the Heart Sutra. The Heart Sutra reads, The Bodhisattva Guan Yin. Here, the word Guan is used. Guan means seeing, as if eyes are used. But it doesn't necessarily mean seeing with naked eyes. It means visualizing. Somebody thought that's Guan Yin Bodhisattva. It's normal to associate wisdom with Guanyin Bodhisattva. 
But I believe Buddha saves all sentient beings. We can have a different interpretation. You can think that you're Guan Yin Bodhisattva. Visualize yourself being a self-cultivator. So, this practitioner sees total emptiness in his visualization. Next, what does form mean? I prefer to interpret it as everything our senses pick up. It's a tangible substance which you can see and touch. Sensations mean human feelings that can be expressed. I believe that this is a teaching from the Buddha to the lay public. Think means all human thoughts. To have wisdom, then let go of what you see, hear and feel. It's like a secret door to another world. Say we came to a mountain and we heard there was a cave with lots of treasure. To prevent people from finding it, someone built a secret door. Trees and big stones are put in front of the door. The obstacles are illusions. So let go of them. While visualizing deeper, one discovers that everything is just empty. In emptiness, there is no form. No eye, ear, nose, tongue, body or mind. No form, feeling, cognition, formation or consciousness. In Taoism, understanding emptiness is returning to the truth. What is the truth? Truth is emptiness. Everything starts with emptiness. Emptiness becomes qi. Then qi becomes form. The concept of emptiness will make us study the beginning or the root of all matters in the world. This beginning is related to every human. Here's a question. Where were you before being born? Most will answer they were in their mother's belly. What about before you were formed? What state were you in? Let me tell you, you were non-existent or empty. In Journey to the West, the Monkey King is called Wu Kong, which means awakened to emptiness. The third disciple is called Wu Jing, which means awakened to purity. These Dharma names show the difference between their mental states. The ultimate truth lies in emptiness. The intuition lies in emptiness. I'm saying this because I want you to be in a light, tranquil state. The truth is, none of us existed to begin with. You might argue that you're alive and kicking now, and that you'll strive to live well. True, but you'll also die, whether you like it or not. How many great names from the past lived for 1,000 years? Their names may be remembered. That's it. Look at the great emperors and their beauties. Where are they now? They don't exist anymore. Fear it or not. All of us will experience fame, wealth, hunger, pain, love, breakups, compliments, humiliation, etc. Death comes next. Everyone dies. It's either sooner or later. Have you finally understood? Good. Let's start chanting now. Now's not the time to die. The more you fear it, the easier it comes. After realizing that, we understand we are from this world. And that prior to that, we were non-existent. We should live our lives to the fullest. 
because one hundred years from now you won't exist anymore. If you still exist, you're probably not human. Maybe you're floating in the air, flapping your wings and looking from above. That will be the you after one hundred years. You existed as a passerby. That's it. There was an antique collector in Hong Kong. His father was rich from his days as a salt merchant and banker. After the war broke out, he shipped all of the antiques from Shanghai to Hong Kong. Many of his relatives died during or after the war. Not many of them are still alive. With so many antiques, needless to say, he was very happy. He rented a big warehouse to keep all his antiques, and named the warehouse the Keeper. You'd expect an elegant name for such a place with so many historic antiques. His reason was simple. He thought the antiques never belonged to him. He was just a keeper of these antiques. That's an awakened person. What triggered his awakening? He'd seen deaths and separations. That's how he awakened. Many women approached him because of his wealth. He finally shaved his head and became a monk, vowing to achieve enlightenment. He called himself the Iron Arhat. He swore to never get married and gave up his lust for women. That's what he did. Only by seeing through can you be enlightened. This is what we are as a passerby: non-existent, born, and then gone. My dad once told me to pay for his burial plot and what I should do with his dead body. No, Dad, you'll be dead, so I'll make the decision. But it's my dying wish, he said. No, Dad, you'll be dead. I'll decide. Don't be a disrespectful son. My dad and I were very close. We could talk about anything. I asked him, "Do you want the bugs to eat your dead body?" He told me that was scary, and he didn't want that. So I suggested cremation. Does it hurt? He asked. Nope. When you're dead, there's no pain. I know, but that's still scary. He said. Trust me. If you feel pain, we'll take you out. In the end, he was cremated. The truth is that we feel nothing when we die. That's the truth. We have no feeling then. When we're able to feel, we get all petty and obsessed. When we can't feel, or we're dying, we care for nothing. Our existences are governed by the arising of different conditions. Wisdom comes with an awakening to emptiness. Life and death. Sorrow and joy are unpredictable yet certain. The light, tranquil state comes when we let go of all attachments. Thank、you
Hong Lanza Samu 
红，被看见，被看见，马被看见，乱扎沙漠，卡地索哈，天塌。红被看见，被看见，马哈被看见，乱扎沙漠，卡地索哈，天塌，红被看见。被看见，马哈被看见，乱扎沙漠，卡地索哈，天塌，红被看见，被看见。马哈被看见，乱扎沙漠，卡地索哈，天塌，红被看见，被看见，马哈被看见。乱扎沙漠，卡地索哈，天塌，红被看见，被看见，马哈被看见，乱扎沙漠。卡地索哈，天塌，红被看见，被看见，马哈被看见，乱扎沙漠，卡地索哈。天塌，红被看见，被看见，马哈被看见，乱扎沙漠，卡地索哈，天塌。红被看见，被看见，马哈被看见，乱扎沙漠，卡地索哈，天塌，红被看见。被看见，马哈被看见，乱扎沙漠，卡地索哈，天塌，红被看见，被看见。马哈被看见，乱扎沙漠，卡地索哈，天塌，红被看见，被看见，马哈被看见。乱扎沙漠，
Kade soha Dien ta Hong bei kan ze Bei kan ze Maha bei kan ze Lan ta sa mu Kade soha Dien ta Hong bei kan ze Bei kan ze Maha bei kan ze Lan ta sa mu Kade soha Dien ta Hong bei kan ze Bei kan ze Maha bei kan ze Lan ta sa mu Kade soha Dien ta Hong bei kan ze Bei kan ze Maha bei kan ze Lan ta sa mu Kade soha Dien ta Hong bei kan ze Bei kan ze Maha bei kan ze Lan ta sa mu Kade soha Dien ta Hong bei kan ze Bei kan ze Maha bei kan ze Lan ta sa mu Kade soha Dien ta Hong bei kan ze Bei kan ze Maha bei kan ze Lan ta sa mu Kade soha Dien ta Hong bei kan ze Bei kan ze Maha bei kan ze Lan ta sa mu Kade soha Dien ta Hong bei kan ze Bei kan ze Maha bei kan ze Lan ta sa mu Kade soha Dien ta Hong bei kan ze Bei kan ze Maha bei kan ze Lan ta sa mu Kade soha Dien ta Hong bei kan ze Bei kan ze Maha bei kan ze Lan ta sa mu Kade soha Dien ta Hong bei kan ze Bei kan ze 
มาหาไปคันเจลนจะสามุกัดิสุขเดินทางหอมไปคันเจไปคันเจมาหาไปคันเจลนจะสามุกัดิสุขเดินทางหอมไปคันเจไปคันเจมาหาไปคันเจลนจะสามุกัดิสุขเดินทางหอมไปคันเจไปคันเจมาหาไปคันเจลนจะสามุกัดิสุขเดินทางหอมไปคันเจไปคันเจมาหาไปคันเจลนจะสามุกัดิสุขเดินทางหอมไปคันเจไปคันเจมาหาไปคันเจลนจะสามุกัดิสุขเดินทางหอมไปคันเจไปคันเจมาหาไปคันเจลนจะสามุกัดิสุขเดินทางหอมไปคันเจไปคันเจมาหาไปคันเจลนจะสามุกัดิสุขเดินทางหอมไปคันเจไปคันเจมาหาไปคันเจลนจะสามุกัดิสุขเดินทางหอมไปคันเจไปคันเจมาหาไปคันเจลนจะสามุกัดิสุขเดินทางหอมไปคันเจไปคันเจมาหาไปคันเจลนจะสามุกัดิสุขเดินทางหอมไปคันเจไปคันเจมาหาไปคันเจลนจะสามุกัดิสุขเดินทางหอมไปคันเจ
ते बेखन ते महापेखन ते लंचासामो कादे सोहा ये अंधा हाँ बेखन ते बेखन ते महापेखंते लंचासामो कादे सोहा ये अंधा हाँ बेखंते बेखंते महापेखंते Lantasamu Kade soha Dien ta Hong bei kante Bei kante Maha bei kante Lantasamu Kade soha Dien ta Hong bei kante Bei kante Maha bei kante Lanta samu Kade soha Dien ta hong bei kan te bei kan te maha bei kan te lan ta sa mu ka te so ha dien ta. Hong bei kan te bei kan te maha bei kan te lan ta sa mu ka te so ha dien ta hong bei kan te. Bekante, maha bekante, lanta samu, kade soha, dien ta hong bekante, bekante. Maha bei kan te Lan ta sa mu Ka te so ha Dien ta hong bei kan te Bei kan te Maha bei kan te Lanta samu Kade soha Dien ta Hong bei kan te Bei kan te Maha bei kan te Lanta samu Kade soha Dien ta Hong bei kan te Bei kan te Maha bei kan te Lan ta sa mu Kade soha 
点头，红被看见，被看见，马被看见，乱扎沙漠，卡地索哈。天塌，红被看见，被看见，马被看见，乱扎沙漠，卡地索天塌。红被看见，被看见，马被看见，乱扎沙漠，卡地索天塌，红被看见。被看见，马被看见，乱扎沙漠，卡地索哈，天塌，红被看见，被看见。马哈被看见，乱扎沙漠，卡地索哈，天塌，红被看见，被看见，马哈被看见。乱扎沙漠，卡地索哈，天塌，红被看见，被看见，马哈被看见，乱扎沙漠。卡地索哈，天塌，红被看见，被看见，马被看见，乱扎沙漠，卡地索哈。天塌，红被看见，被看见，马被看见，乱扎沙漠，卡地索哈，天塌。红被看见，被看见，马被看见，乱扎沙漠，卡地索哈，天塌，红被看见。被看见，马被看见，乱扎沙漠，卡地索哈，天塌，红被看见，被看见。马被看见，乱扎沙漠
Kade soha Dien ta Hong bei kan ze Bei kan ze Maha bei kan ze Lan ta sa mo Kade soha Dien ta Hong bei kan ze Bei kan ze Maha bei kan ze Lan ta sa mo Kade soha Dien ta Hong bei kan ze Bei kan ze Maha bei kan ze Lan ta sa mo Kade soha Dien ta Hong bei kan ze Bei kan ze Maha bei kan ze Lan ta sa mo Kade soha Dien ta Hong bei kan ze Bei kan ze Maha bei kan ze Lan ta sa mo Kade soha Dien ta Hong bei kan ze Bei kan ze Maha bei kan ze Lan ta sa mo Kade soha Dien ta Hong bei kan ze Bei kan ze Maha bei kan ze Lan ta sa mo Kade soha Dien ta Hong bei kan ze Bei kan ze Maha bei kan ze Lan ta sa mo Kade soha Dien ta Hong bei kan ze Bei kan ze Maha bei kan ze Lan ta sa mo Kade soha Dien ta Hong bei kan ze Bei kan ze Maha bei kan ze Lan ta sa mo Kade soha Dien ta Hong bei kan ze Bei kan ze Maha bei kan ze Lan ta sa mo Kade soha Dien ta Hong bei kan ze Bei kan ze 
องเบคานเจเบคานเจมหาเบคานเจลันจะสามุกัดิสุขเดินทางหองเบคานเจเบคันเจมหาเบคันเจลันจะสามุกัดิสุขเดินทางหองเบคันเจเบคันเจ马哈贝坎杰，兰扎萨木，卡迪索哈，点塔哈红贝坎杰，贝坎杰，马哈贝坎杰。兰扎萨木，卡迪索哈，点塔哈红贝坎杰，贝坎杰，马哈贝坎杰，兰扎萨木。Kadi soha. Now it's time for our closing exercise. Remain in a seated position, legs crossed. The upper body slowly stretches forward. The arms naturally extend forward. Reach the forehead to the floor. Pause. Do it according to your ability. This exercise can relieve. Pain and pressure in the legs. Turn the body to the left. The arms extend forward. The chest reaches to touch the left thigh.
then move the torso to the right. The arms extend forward and the chest reaches for the right thigh. Then bring the chest between the leg, still reaching down. Pause. Then slowly sit up. Place both hands on your knees and rotate the upper body to the left. Stretching the bones and muscles of the waist Then rotate to the right. The waist is comfortably stretched. Extend the legs forward naturally. Move them a little. Taking care not to touch anyone around you. Then sit comfortably. Rub your palms until they're warm. Glide your palms over your face from chin to forehead to cheek without actually touching them. Visualize beautiful flowers and a serene lake. Rub your palms until they're warm. Part your fingers and firmly comb your hair from forehead to the back of the neck. Visualize that your mind is becoming clear, wise, and orderly. Rub your palms until they're warm. Cup your palms over your eyes. Feel energy from your palms nourishing your eyes. Your eyes are clear and bright like a serene lake. Your vision improves. With your index and middle fingers, gently brush your eyelids from the inner corners of your eyes to the outer corners. Brush away the negative energy in your eyes. Your eyes are bright. With the edge of your index fingers, gently press the eye sockets. To relieve the fatigue in the eyes. Rub your palms until they're warm. With your index fingers, press both sides of your nose from the bridge to the base. And then rub both sides of the nose.
your breathing becomes smoother. Open your mouth wide three times. Rub your palms until they are warm. Use your thumbs and index fingers to rub every part of your ears. Pay attention to the painful areas. Massage them more. Then, gently pull your ears outward a few times. Now, gently pull the lobes downward a few times. Rub your palms until they are warm. First, use your left palm to rub the back of your neck. Rub it back and forth until it feels warm and a little damp from perspiration. Then rub your palms until they're warm. Use your right palm to rub the back of your neck. your head slightly lowered. Run your fingers along the cervical spine, pushing from the bottom up. Rub your palms. Pat your entire body from top to bottom. Pat your head firmly with relaxed wrists. Do it calmly. Visualize that your body is like an old blanket hanging out in the sun. Wherever your hands pat, dust drifts away and disappears into the air. Pat your left shoulder. Then pat your right shoulder. Continue to pat your chest. Then pat your left armpit down to the side of your ribcage. Switch to the right. Pat your right armpit down to the side of your ribcage. Next, pat your abdomen with relaxed hands.
Please stand up slowly. Pat down from the front of your thighs, knees, shins, ankles, and tops of your feet. Pat with some force. Older people may pat more gently as needed to avoid hurting themselves. Gently pat the lower back. Down to the buttocks. Down to the back of your thighs. Calves, ankles, and heels. Maintain your visualization. Wherever your hands pat, dust drifts away. Continue to pat the inside and outside of your legs. Start with your left leg. Relax your wrists and pat with slight force. Then pat your right leg. Continue to pat your arms. Start with your left arm. Pat each side of the arm. Maintain your visualization. Wherever your hands pat, dust drifts away. Then pat your right arm. After patting your entire body, rub your palms. Gently massage your whole body without actually touching it. Visualize that you are gently sweeping away the dust and worries. You are becoming healthy and happy. At the same time, think, I'm closing this meditation practice. Jump on the spot, turning around at the same time. The energy is evenly distributed in your body. You are healthy and full of life. Today's class has successfully completed. See you tomorrow.